Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up your Xbox One wireless controller with Windows 7. Now if you've already plugged this in, you've probably received an error message that is something very similar to that. I'm going to show you how I managed to get around it. Okay, so first things first, you want to go down to Start. And then if you go to Control Panel, and then Hardware and Sounds. And it'll be under Devices and Printers, you're wanting Device Manager. Now, it'll be listed under other devices more than likely and it'll have an exclamation mark next to it all you do is right click it and then click uninstall click OK and all you do is remove the USB and put it back in again and it should start automatically searching for updates as it's done before but this time round it will locate them and it will install them. Now don't worry if you start getting some error messages as soon as you link up the Xbox One controller to the wireless adapter. Um, the reason for it as far as I'm aware anyway is just the fact that it isn't supposed to be compatible for Windows 7. It still works but you tend to get similar error messages to these which as far as I've noticed hasn't really caused me any issues so just to prove that it does definitely work I quickly find a game to test out so as you can see here I've got a game set up I'm just gonna show you quickly make sure this does work so you get moves with a stick accepts the reaction you can set and click the triggers they work perfectly fine and if you pause it as well so as you can see, everything works perfectly fine. I know that some computers can be really awkward and they don't want to work, so if this doesn't work for you, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can help you out any way I can. Otherwise, I hope this has helped you out and I'll catch you all in the next video.